our country, India. India is a very vast and complex country. It is more than a country. It is a subcontinent. It covers a large area which is almost equal to Europe excluding Russia. The diversity of Indian landscape is equaled by the variety of people, their languages and religions. Study at a glance. India Physiographic Divisions India, our country. India belongs to Asia, the largest continent in the world. It is situated in the southern part of Asia. It covers an area of 3.28 million square kilometers. It stretches between 8 degree 4 minute north and 37 degree 6 minute north latitudes and 68 degree 7 minute east and 97 degree 25 minute east longitudes. The Tropic of Cancer divides India into almost two equal parts. India is the seventh largest country in the world. India enjoys a very favorable position in the Indian Ocean with reference to the world's major sea routes and air routes. India has oceanic contacts with Southwest Asia and Africa and also with Europe and North America through the Suez Canal route. To the east, India has direct links with Myanmar, Indonesia, Malaysia, Hong Kong, China, Japan and Australia. This encourages trade and cultural exchange with all countries. India is a union of 28 states and 6 union territories while Delhi is the national capital. Physiographic Divisions of India India can be divided into the following physical regions viz. The Himalayan Mountain System The Peninsula Plateau The Great Northern Plains The Coastal Plains The Island Groups The Himalayan Mountain System the Himalayan mountain system extends between River Indus on the northwest and River Brahmaputra on the east. Himalaya means the abode of snow. Himalayan mountains are divided into three main parallel ranges. The northernmost is the Great Himalayas or Himadri, the world's highest peaks like Mount Everest, Kanchenjunga, etc. are located in this range. Middle Himalayas or Himachal lies to the south of Himadri. Numerous popular hill stations are situated here. Masuri, Chakrata, Dharamshala, Kulu and Manali are important hill stations. The Shivaliks are the southernmost range of the Himalayas. It has several longitudinal valleys called Duns. Dehradun, Kothari Dun, Patli Dun are some examples of these valleys. Beyond the Brahmaputra are the eastern offshoots of the Himalayas. They are called Purvanchal or the eastern hills. Their average elevation is around 3000 meters. They are known as Patkai and Naga Hills in the north. In Meghalaya, they are known as Garo, Khasi and Giantia Hills, while in the south, they are known as Lushai and Mizo Hills. The Karakoram mountain ranges lies in North Kashmir to the north of River Indus. It extends from Pamir Plateau in the north. The second highest peak in the world is located on the Karakoram range. It is known as Mount Godwin Austin or K2. The Peninsula Plateau. The Peninsula Plateau has a triangular shape and it covers nearly 
half the total land of India. This plateau is the oldest block of the country. Its relief is highly uneven. It has numerous hill ranges and valleys. Aravli Hills is one of the oldest ranges of the world. It borders the plateau on the northwest side. The Vindhyas and the Satpuras are the other important ranges. Narmada and Tapi flow through these ranges. They are west flowing rivers. They drain water into the Arabian Sea. The Western Ghats or Sahyadris border the plateau in the west and the Eastern Ghats from its eastern boundary. The Great Northern Plains The Northern Indian Plains lie to the south of the Himalayas. They are generally plain and flat. Alluvial deposits laid down by the rivers have formed these plains. Ganga, Brahmaputra and their tributaries flow through these plains. They provide fertile land for cultivation. Hence, high density of population is found in the plains. Thar Desert lies in the western part of India. It is a dry, hot and sandy stretch of land. It has very little vegetation and very few people live in this desert. The Coastal Plains to the west of the Western Ghats and to the east of the Eastern Ghats lie the Coastal Plains. The Western Coastal Plains are very narrow. Narmada and Tapi, the only west flowing rivers, drain this coastal plain. The Eastern Coastal Plains are broad. Numerous east flowing rivers like Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri drain water into the Bay of Bengal. They have formed fertile deltas at their mouth. The Island Groups India has two major island groups, Lakshadweep Island Group and the Andaman and Nicobar Island Group. Lakshadweep Island Group is located in the Arabian Sea opposite of Kerala coast. This group of islands was formed due to the deposition of a microscopic species of coral polyps. This group of islands look like a horseshoe in shape and are called atolls. Andaman and Nicobar Island group is located in the Bay of Bengal close to Myanmar in the north and Indonesia in the south. Many islands of this group were formed due to volcanic eruptions. Summary India has a diverse landscape. India may be roughly divided into five landscapes physically. The Himalayan mountains are divided into three main parallel ranges. They are Great Himalayas or Himadri, Middle Himalayas or Himachal and the Shivaliks. The peninsula plateau has a triangular shape and it covers nearly half the total land of India. This plateau is the oldest block of the country. The northern Indian plains lie to the south of the Himalayas. They are generally plain and flat. To the west of the western Ghats, and to the east of the eastern Ghats lie the coastal plains. The western coastal plains are very narrow. India has two major island groups, Lakshadweep Island Group and Andaman and Nicobar Island Group.